got my first dual sport motorcycle, my beloved KLR650, I dreamed of enormous adventures. You know the kinds, the one that would take me across borders to different cultures and foreign faces, all kitted out with panniers and full gear, camping every night and packing up each morning for new and mysterious vistas. been able to do a few big rides, that adventure lifestyle has been mostly elusive. My family has grown, my time got short, and the dream of a far-off adventure has drifted a bit. The reality is that for us family guys, those adventures are a lot more rare than any of us would like to admit. But just because the massive adventures aren't the norm, it doesn't make the smaller rides taken by us weekend warriors any less excellent. Behold the Weekend Skill Builder Ride. All it takes is a phone call, a few text messages, maybe a Facebook post in a local group, a lazy morning, a few bikes, and a spot of dirt. No panniers or packing unless you want to practice with the weight. No expensive GPS units or camp stoves or months of preparation. No entry fee or sponsor booths. Just jump in your boots, don your helmet, then for all most of us care, wear your Levi's and a t-shirt. Who's to say that you can't have just as much fun on a single square mile of dirt than you can have on a day during a worldwide journey? Just find the obstacles you want to get better at. Maybe a rocky face, a bit of sand, a whoop section, maybe a jump or two, a berm, or make a figure eight to slide around and knock yourself out. Practice on difficult terrain in a more controlled environment will give you the skills you need when you're out there hundreds of miles from the nearest building or cell service. Some of my favorite moments have come from the impromptu rides into the desert by my house with a few friends and a couple hours to burn. Is it a true adventure or just a ride? Well, who gives a flying pig what it is? Yeah, some guy online might write you off because you're not having his definition of a hardcore adventure on his definition of an adventure bike, but at least you're out there riding instead of bitterly banging away at a keyboard or <clears throat> uh, editing videos. So never be ashamed of being a weekend warrior. Embrace it. It's far better to ride a little here and there than to see your bike as a single-use item. While awesome, it's not just for ripping full throttle through Mongolia on your bucket list lifetime excursion. So sure, dream about and make plans for the global expeditions, but don't overlook the small, even mediocre weekend adventures that build skill, shake off the dust, and put a smile on your face between the big trips. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thanks to my patrons and friends for making videos like this possible while I'm still on the mend off the bike. If you'd like to join us for a skill builder ride in Southern Utah or Southern California, check out the Flying Monkey Adventure Riders page on Facebook. There will be a link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell to become a super subscriber and get notified of all of my new uploads. If you'd like to watch another video, please pick one from the right because YouTube's tracking algorithm based on your history and the CIA says you'll like those the most. Much love, ladies and gentle tubers. Ever ride out.